here with Scrap and Abby, and I'm back with another altered project. This is part of the little ser series I have on my YouTube channel where um, I've made some different things for my really good friend, Michelle Scott. Please go check out her channel. In all of these videos, I will be putting a link in um, the description box that will take you directly to her channel. So these are some... Um, of the handmade flowers that I made for her. I didn't do any paper ones this time. I just wanted to kind of focus on some of the fabric flowers. So these are the melted fabric flowers that I made for her. And some of these have um, little bits of you know, button or kind of blingy looking buttons in the center. And some of, some of these I left without a center like these two. That way she could choose to put in whatever she wants to. And so here's like the gray. Really, really pretty. These are kind of time consuming but they're very easy to do. I was after I cut my shapes and then I um, sat there with them. Um, I, I bounced between a, a, um, a lighter and a candle just cutting whatever worked the best for me. Each one seemed a little bit different and I was just watching YouTube videos so it was just you know one of those kind of projects that you can work on while you're watching TV or whatever. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit um, so I can show you these flowers. I'm not going to pick up each one um, just be I don't know Maybe I will. We'll see. <laughs> this one's probably one of my favorites, even though I'm a purple girl. I just think this is so pretty. And it's all the layers. And, you know, I added, oops, I added um, some, like, organs, sheer organs in there, along with the um, satin and that kind of thing. So I have some that have, like, you know, a wood button. That's a vintage button in there. And then this one's a large, a couple larger white ones. This one just has, like, some seed beads clustered in the center, and this one's plain. And why I have a little bit of a spot there, I want to show you. This was a wooden tray that I got from Goodwill. It was, like, a baby blue, um, kind of like a country kitchen blue, maybe. So what I did is I painted the whole thing white, because I wanted to make sure none of the blue was going to show through. Uh, and including the bottom, I painted white just with some, I don't know, gesso or something. I can't remember exactly. And then I took some of this really um, lovely, shabby chic tissue paper that I actually bought from Target last year. I wish I would have bought more. I haven't seen it since, but it actually says shabby chic tissue paper on it. I just Mod Podge that on um, the whole entire thing, except for the bottom. Because I wanted to... I want to make that tissue last because, you know, I like it. <laughs> and here's a really fun purple one. This is my favorite purple one I made for her. I'm the purple girl, and I, want, I had to include some purple um, in her different projects, whether it be like the pop of color with a purple flower or whether it be an embellishment like this. So I love this one. This is very difficult for me to put this in here. <laughs> I want to go put this in my hoard vault, but I'm not going to. I made it for you, Michelle, so I'm not going to do it. Yes, I can make more. And the really cool thing about this is that every flower is going to look different. I mean, I could have the same number of um, layers, and I could cut the shape out pretty much the same, and I promise you it's not going to look like this when I make another one. So that's what's really fun about this, too. It's really unique and different. So here is just some, um, I love these flowers, how these turned out. And again, I left the centers plain so she could do what she wants. Um, you know, in the back, I just used a piece of felt. She could put this down on a project. She could get one of those little pins and make it like a little, um, not a brooch, but you know what I'm trying to say, like a corsage or whatever. I don't know if she would ever do that, but if she wanted to, Michelle, you can. <laughs> Here's another large one with, you know, just the center. It's kind of ugly when the, you can see the glue in there, but, you know, you put a center in there, you're not going to be able to tell. I just wanted to give her the freedom to um, dress these up as she wants to. And here's another fun one. Just all these layers. It's just so, so delicate and feminine. I just love it. Very, very pretty. And then here's a couple. Um, this one here, I don't know what material this is. I can't remember. But I, I got a fat quarter. Not a fat quarter. I got a remnant of this. So it didn't say in there what the material was. So I don't know. When you watch, if anybody watching this, if you know, can you comment below and let me know? Because I want to get some more of that because I like how that looks. Just so soft and just so pretty. And then there's a couple more of that um, one kind of dusty rose color. And then, did I show you this one? I, no, I didn't. If I did, I apologize. This one's got like some tool in between that I melted. Just be careful when you're doing that because it does melt really quickly. And there are a ton, a ton of videos on how to, how to do the melted fabric flower. I will be doing one um, for, um, for my own channel because my niece saw me. I, post sneak peeks on my Instagram and things like that when I'm working on projects and whatever. And um, she saw the flowers I was making, which were these, and she asked me if, if um, you know, she sent me the materials if I would make these for her, for her daughter's 
um, room. And I said, absolutely. You know, I mean, she's family. I'm not going to charge her. She, she was like, she was telling me, she's like, well, send you money. I'm like, no. I said, you're family. I'm not going to charge you for something like that. It's You just send me what you want. Mail it to me because, you know, they're all, all my family's in Oregon. I said, and this is so pretty. I'm not even a pink person, really. I love this one, though. It's, I just love it. I don't dislike pink. I'm just a purple girl is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, so I'll be doing a video on that when I get the materials from her. Isn't this one a fun one? I wanted to mix in some of the kind of dusty rose with the pink tulle in that material I showed, I told you I liked. That is so cute. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, do a different view. I'm going to hold it for my, the camera with my hand. That way you can see what the front of this looks like and all the different trimming that I did because it's, I don't want to tip, tip these out and have to pick them back up. I kind of, kind of have them arranged like I want them to be before I wrap them to put it in the box to mail. So I'll be right back. So I'm going to do my best to keep this as steady as possible. So you can tell this white trim right here, that is from Hobby Lobby. And I used this uh, on the shabby chic banner that I made for her too. I just had a little bit left um, after I used this. So I just bought a little bit because I wasn't on sale, I don't think, when I bought it. So this is one of my handmade flowers here in the front too, the one in the middle. This is um, some vintage lace. I already have a video um, I did with my daughter, oh my goodness, five something years ago maybe. I'll try to find it and link it below. If not, you can just search, you know, handmade flowers on my channel. And there's some of that pink trim that I got, um, beaded trim, from Hobby Lobby. And you can see the shabby chicy tissue paper, and it's all the way around. I'll show you the bottom just in case you're curious. It's just plain. And um, these are the, the flowers on either side. Those are from Monami Gabby. And I just used some of my different Tattered Angels um, shimmer sprays on them just to kind of give them a, a little glimmery look. And then, yeah, so this is what it looks like all the way around. So she can take these flowers out if she wants to, put them somewhere else. She can do use this container for something different if she chooses to do so. But I wrapped it all the way around. That way, um, you, you, I like to complete my projects all the way around, even the bottoms and stuff. It's just, I don't know, I just do. But in case she puts us in an area where you're going to see the backside, I wanted to make sure it looked pretty as well. So that is it, everybody. Um, look forward to the... Um, fabric flower tutorial which I'll probably have up before you see this because I have to wait until Michelle gets everything and sees it before I put up any videos because she watches my videos and these are all things for her and I don't want to run the surprise so um, yeah so I just want to share this with you I will see you in my next video so happy scrapping happy planning and happy crafting and I'll see you next time bye I completely forgot to talk about the inside so the trim that I use on the outside which I ordered from Amazon um, I did do it on the inside too so if Michelle does decide to take these flowers out and use them elsewhere or store them differently if she puts some things that are like flat line in here or whatever the inside is going to be pretty too so I'm going to kind of show you inside there what it looks like so yep it's really, really late. <laughs> this is probably a sign for me to stop doing this and go to bed. So, oops, sorry, I forgot to turn my phone down. So there you go. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.